Welcome to the School of Silence. Shoot, sorry. This is where the noisiest children in the country are sent to prove they can keep quiet. We're about to meet four new arrivals, but can they keep quiet for just one day? Ooh, I doubt it. Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to prove they can be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If I think the pupils manage to stay quiet enough to pass a class, then they will bank a prize from my confiscation cupboard. But if I think they are being too noisy, They will get nothing, and I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 3000, the very latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass the final exam, they will take all the prizes they have banked and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. However, if they fail to keep that shut, I will have no choice but to expel them and they will go home with absolutely nothing. Today's pupils come from Liverpool and are having their noisy levels monitored by our beloved headmistress, Miss Gobstop, and their form tutor, Mr Gross. You! Step forward! Name! <coughs> Howling Harry says he once heard a chimpanzee blow a raspberry at the zoo. His worst habit is that he never stops talking. That's Harry, not the chimp. <laughs> You! Name! Squealing Anna says the sound of snoring makes her laugh, which is why she hasn't had a wink of sleep in over five years. You! Step forward! Name! Abby! Noisy Abby's alarm clock once went off in the middle of the night, waking all her neighbours. <laughs> they all saw the funny side. Not! You! Name! Cackling Cameron bangs the drums and rocks out on his guitar in his spare time. Which is why his dad sends him straight to bed when he gets home from school. Yeah, rock on, Dad. Right, right let's get rid of them. Get out! Get them out! <laughs> it's time for Class 1, General Studies with Mr. Gross. This revolting chap is the school's most disgusting teacher. Ugh. So, goodness only knows what he has in store for today's noisy pupils in their first silent test. <sighs> Come in! Come in! Come in! Come in! Don't slam the door! It smells like something died! Children, don't leave me, apples. Listen, do you know why you're here? Hey. To annoy you? Yeah. You are here in the school of silence because you are noisy. You cannot keep quiet. And that's why you're here, to learn to be silent. I don't think you can do it. I think you're going to go home with nothing. Yeah. Stop nattering. <laughs> Remember, Miss Gobstop is listening at all times on your fluffy little microphones. Tell me this, do you think you can pass the test in the School no. of Silence? Probably. Probably. Do you know what? I think probably not. Probably not. Okay. Right, that's it. It's time for your first silent test. OK, I'm looking forward to this. Shh. Now, this test is all about insects. Pop your hands in here. As soon as the test starts, you must be silent throughout. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. Oh. Your silent <laughs> test starts oh, no. now. Shh. In this test, Mr. Gross has four boxes of creepy crawlies. Can the pupils keep quiet when he pours the bugs all over them? It's the first box. And it's mealworms. They're probably called that because Mr. Gross has them for his dinner. 
Oh. A definite noise from Anna. But will it be too loud for Miss Gobstop? Time now for Abby to meet Mr. Gross's wriggly friends. Actually, they're his only friends. Oh, great work. How will they do with box number two? Uh-oh, it's maggot time. Will that make the team squeal? Those silent reactions will certainly please Miss Gobstop, but can they keep it up? Oh! A bit of a noise from squealing Anna, but was it too loud for Miss Gobstop? Oh, squeals there and no mistaking. With two boxes still to go, they've got it all to play for. They have to keep silent if they want to bank that prize. Here's box number three. Crunchy beetles! Oh, Anna doesn't like what she sees. She's not a Beatles fan. How will Abby cope? Silent screaming, impressive stuff. Looks like these new pupils are proving they can keep quiet. And Miss Gobstop is over the moon. It's the final box. Oh no, crickets. Mr. Gross pulling out all the stops. Here it comes. Will the crickets bowl them over? Lovely textbook silence there from Anna, but will Miss Gobstop agree? So, your silent test is over! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that a relief? Yes. 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 yes! I don't know what's wrong with you. I quite enjoy the company of bugs. Are they delightful? They are very, very friendly, but they're not the cleanest creatures in the world. So do wash your hands. But were you silent? <laughs> There's only one person who knows, Miss Gobstop. And she will tell us whether you've been silent and passed or whether you've been noisy and failed. And personally, I hope it's the latter. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Cameron, Harry, sniggering at the misfortunes of your fellow teammates. Oh. Anna, you squealed, squeaked, gasped even. You tried very hard. Abby, not a peep. But remember, don't play with your food. Not even mealworm. Time for the all-important results. Have the team banked a prize. Class. Children who get the better of me. I tell you also, don't get the better of me anymore. Get out of my class instead. Woo! Yes, I'll, I'll tell you what. Glad to see the back of you. We passed Mr. Gross. We passed. We asked for our hands in these boxes and, and Mr. Gross poured bugs on us. You were disgusting. Miss Gav Gavsop said that um, um, Cameron and Harry were like giggling the whole way through. But, um, Abby kept quiet. And you kept gulping. <coughs> <laughs> We're going to keep quiet this time because we want to win! Attention, attention. Just a reminder that this evening's silent disco commences at 1600 hours. Everybody in the house say shh. On to class two, geography with Miss Adventure. She may be tiny, but she has the heart of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which she should probably give back. Can our new pupils bank another prize in her class? Come in, young rovers. Come in. Hi. Welcome. 
Welcome. Hello. Sit down. It's okay, Kylie. Come and sit down. Welcome, young Romans, to my geography class. I'm Miss Adventure. Welcome. Now, um, you passed your test in Mr. Gross's class, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Down to these two, though, wasn't it, Harry? Yeah, not yes. you two, because you yes. were laughing. You were all laughing. How do you think you're going to do with my silence test? How do you think you're going to do, Cameron? How do you think you're going to do? Not very good. Not very good, Cameron. Well, that was good at the start. Looks like I'm going to win this one. But why have you got plastic animals? They're um, interpretations of all of the animals that I've seen uh, in my travels. For example, this is a... Uh, a rather large goldfish I found in there. Yes, you can hold that. There you go. There's one for you. <laughs> Would you like... Here you go, Kim. Uh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Well, we'll see whether or not you can keep this uh, shut. Remember, Miss Gob stops listening on your little furry microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if you're silent, you might win a prize. If you're noisy, you go away with nothing. You're going to pass the silence test? No! Yeah! Well, we'll find out, shall we? Yes, we yes. shall. Yes! Every explorer needs to be lucky and silent. Shh. With the help of my sister. Hi. Hi. We're going to see which one of you is the luckiest. Now, you're going to pull out one of these pegs. And if it has red on the bottom, you get a custard pie in the face. Remember, you must do this in complete silence. Harry, Cameron, you're going to be up first, so positions, please. Now, your silence test begins now. So, four custard pies, but who's going to get the first one? Oh, lucky boy. Cameron next. Another lucky peg. Good silence all round. They're doing great so far. Oh. <laughs> A few giggles there. Let's see that again. Bosh! Pie squared in the face. Anna's in the hot seat now. Silent celebration, Miss Gobstop's favourite type. The heat is on Anna. And the nerves are showing. Can Cameron's luck last? No! Ho ho! Here it is again. Bam! Can Abby hold out against Anna? No, she can't. Let's see that again. Oh, lovely. And Miss Gobstop agrees. Just Anna left now, but when will her luck run out? And there it is. Oh, beautiful silent work from Anna. But will it be enough to bank another prize? Your silence test is over! Yeah! How do you think you did, Cameron? What do you yeah, think? we did cool. Oh, oh <laughs> I see. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what you think, doesn't matter what I think, doesn't matter what my sister thinks. It's all about Miss Gobstop. Let's find out what she thinks. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Anna. No more squeaking. Now you're gasping. <sighs> Abby, still no peep out of you. Impressive. <laughs> Harry, your self-control is improving. Cameron, did I detect a chuckle or two? But were you quiet enough? Class! Here comes the result. Will it be prize number two for our plucky Liverpudlians? Pass! Yes! Oh, no! Oh, I tried my best, but you passed. John, I've had enough. Go on, get out. Get out of my class. Stop said that 
we all need to improve a little bit. It was Ooh. fun, and I hope we do better in the next game. And I think we're going to be we're going to pass the final exam. <laughs> Great stuff. Meanwhile, in the school hamster's cage. And that's how I discovered gravity. Bang! Uh, Judy, you're always in there going round and round really quietly. You know what you are, don't you? Teacher's pet. <laughs> Teacher's pet. Bang! Shh. Thanks for that, Hanny. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Les Prance, teacher of the performing arts. He can sing, dance and act in silence. But will this cast of new pupils keep quiet? Remember, our noisy pupils from Liverpool have banked two prizes so far. Can they make it three in a row? Come in, come in. Thank you. See, the art of balancing. Now, I am, as you know, Mr. Les Prance, the teacher of the performing arts. And as you see, as you see, are you going to repeat everything I'm going to say? We are. We are, we are a bunch of, a bunch of losers. You are, you are a bunch of losers. <laughs> Remember, Miss Gobstop will decide at the end of the test whether you have passed or whether you have failed. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, we shall see how you do because your silence test is about to commence. You look nice. Thank you very much. As a great performer, you must possess great physical coordination. In pairs joined at the ankle, you must repeat every move I do. Also remain completely and utterly silent. Silent! Your silence test has begun. Action! Mr. Prance will put the pupils through a three-stage exercise routine. Can they remain silent throughout? Stage one, warm-ups. They seem to be doing well so far. Let's see how they cope with stage two, the hoop. Well, Abby and Anna are down and hooping with laughter. And that seems to have got Miss Gobstop's attention. Final stage now, exercise balls. <laughs> Giggling from Anna and tittering from Cameron. Whoops. <laughs> Just 15 seconds to go and bouncing belly laughs all round. <laughs> that laughter registered on the Gobstop 3000. Has their cackling cost them the chance of banking a prize? Your science test is now over. Cut! Yay! Well, I have not heard so much noise since the last time an elephant gave birth to a baby tiger. However, it is not for me to decide your fate, Miss Gobstop has been listening to every single sound, giggle, and chortle you made. Attention, attention. This is Miss Gobstop. Anna, Abby, constant coordinated giggling. <laughs> Cameron, Harry, you started so well, but you couldn't control your cackling. <laughs> Class. It's results time. Have they banked their third prize? Failed! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I told you, you could not beat Mr. Prance. <laughs> Will the new pupils please report to my office immediately? 
Get out of my class! You <laughs> failed! Bye bye, failure! Oh, the bye first bye failure of the day! So, with classes now complete, it's time to face Miss Gobstop and get their report before the final exam. Go! Let Come in. in! Quickly! Quietly! So, we've been sent here because we're all far too noisy. Should we take a look at your report? Harry, Snig is in your first two classes. But you seem to be improving. Cameron, the cackle box. <laughs> Cackling now. Anna, giggle, giggle, giggle. <laughs> Abby, don't keep quiet. <laughs> what did you expect? So, you come here because you've passed two classes. That means you've banked two prizes. You have one final exam. If you pass, you will graduate and take home your two prizes and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. But if you set off my Gobstop 3000 three times, you will be expelled and go home with absolutely nothing. We're going to pass like the first yeah, two. I'm we're, we're going, going to be to like a pass. And we're going to like pass. just yes. go to everything and we're just going to be like Silent. incredible. So, off we go to the science lab. Bye. And See Goodbye. ya. Oh, that was Wouldn't amazing. want to be ya. Now it's time for the final exam with the professor. His fiendish experiments and dastardly inventions are all that's standing between our new pupils and their fantastic prizes. Ah, guten tag, my little noise munchkins, and welcome to your final examination in the laboratory. I am the professor, you may have heard of me. And today in the laboratory, with the help of my assistant, Herr Helmut, Boom! Ah! <laughs> Today, with the help of my assistant, we shall be testing you to see if you have managed to learn the quiet. But for happiness, if you make three of the bad, bad noises, you will be expelled. Ha! Eat failure cake! But <laughs> if you manage to keep with the quiet, then you will graduate. <laughs> but this will not happen. According to the Fraulein, you are the noisiest, smelliest children she has ever met. We're not smelly. We're just loud. Just loud, they say. That one smells a bit. I know, she doesn't know about it. <laughs> The naughty professor will do everything he can to stop them winning the Golden Gobstopper. Do your worst, professor. Are you ready to begin the examination? Yes. yes. If I'll commence. In dry. Zwei. Eins! Who shall we go with first? I think it's going to be you. This is my greatest invention. It is the mind-reading helmet. First up, it's Abby. She's staying totally silent. I can read your mind. What are you saying? Oh no, my hair is a mess. I really want to marry Harry. <gasps> right, number two. That's perhaps my greatest invention. My invisibility cloak. Ha! Ah, I am invisible. You cannot see me. You don't know where I am. Oh, look at this. Oh. How is this pie floating all by itself? He must be scared. He thinks it's a ghost. Yes, he looks terrified. Now it's Cameron's turn. Pie in the face, but nothing. Miss Gobstop's pep talk seems to be working. Ah, I think it is you. What do we have for you? Ah, yes. Perhaps my greatest invention. It is my fast lift paste. It is made with ingredients like panda doo doo and pigeon juice and butterfly fingers and that type of thing. So let us go. Our Harry is up next. Oh, good work, but not a peep. And finally, what do we have for you? Anna's turn. Hmm? What do you think, Helmut? This child smells really bad. It's like dinosaur pants. Mm. I'm going to be sick. You're going to be sick? Mm. I'm going to be sick. You can't be sick all over the child. They must... Ah, down here! Mm. I'm so sorry. I forgot this was hooked up. But don't worry, I have a machine to clean it all off. Or do I?
Oh, could that be strike two? Remember, if they trigger the Gobstop 3000 three times, they will be expelled and lose the lot. What is happening? They look terrified. 20 seconds to go. Can they keep quiet under the final onslaught of slime? Time's running out, but the slime isn't. Right, that is it. The time is up. Your final examination is over. <laughs> Well, my little laughter lobsters, how do you think you did, huh? You were so, so noisy, especially you. Look at you. Even now he cannot stop. <laughs> if it were up to me and the helmet, you would fail the examination. But it's not up to me. It is up to the beautiful Fräulein Gobstopper to see if you made three noises via the Gobstopping 3000. They've passed two classes and failed one. With two prizes at stake, will they graduate? How did minor guinea pigs do? Well, I heard gasping. I heard giggling. How do you think you did? Harry? Awesomely good. Awesomely good. Well, the Gobstop 3000 has spoken. You have graduated. Yeah! Yes, it's victory for our Fab Four from Liverpool. But how did they do it? There was a gasp from Abby. And a <laughs> chuckle from Cameron. But only two strikes on the Gobstop 3000 means they have graduated and won the Golden Gobstopper. So, I give you the Golden Gobstop. You may now make your way to get your prizes from the confiscation cupboard. I bid you to leave my school silently and never ever come back. Now get out! <laughs> Will you please clean your school? <laughs> the machine is just about to pick up giggling. It's all just <laughs> giggling of air. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>